Hello everyone and welcome to the DPB Podcast. I'm your host Ryan Mondes with DisneyPinsBlog.com, the latest news on Disney pin trading and collecting from the world. This is episode number 180 for the week of November 4th, 2019. Welcome to the Disney Pins Blog Podcast. Welcome back to the show everyone. Halloween is over and we are in full Christmas mode. Tons and tons of new releases. Uh, coming out now and uh, the next two months really November December there's a lot to cover um, I know I haven't done a podcast for about I think it's been almost three weeks now I had the last two uh, weeks off um, due to traveling and such so this podcast is going to be a little bit different it's mainly going to be almost like a just a pin chat uh, podcast I really just want to cover all of the holiday and Christmas pin releases that we know so far um, so that's going to be the main focus of today's episode. Uh, but before we get started, just for housekeeping, uh, I want to mention that it is pin trading night this week at Disneyland and Walt Disney World. It's the Little Mermaid 30th anniversary pin collection release. And both of those events sold out super fast. So uh, it's going to be a packed house, popular releases. Um, they're high edition sizes though, so they will be in the parks probably the following week. But that leads me to my next point. Um, no podcast next week, uh, just because I'll be uh, traveling again and covering the event at Walt Disney World. So let's get right into the pin news slash pin chat. First, we're gonna start off with Shop Disney. I wanted to mention them first, uh, just because they did have a few holiday releases um, this past week. So I wanted to touch on those and then we'll get into all of the Disney Parks news because there is a ton of it. So first at Shop Disney there was a Mickey and Minnie holiday sledding pin. Pretty cute pin here. You got uh, Mickey and Minnie riding on a sled. This is the holiday 2019 limited edition pin. That is actually a weird edition size in this one. It's LE 3700 and the retail price of that is $12.95. I actually picked that one up for myself. That was released on October 30th, 2019 at uh, shopdisney.com. Next, there was a train pin release. It's a Mickey holiday train pin. And uh, this actually benefits Toys for Tots. So $1 of every pin purchased goes towards Toys for Tots. And this is, I guess, considered a limited release pin. That appeared on November 2nd and is available while supplies last through Christmas Eve, December 24th, 2019. Retail price in that pin is $12.95, and it is available at Disney Store retail locations, and it's also going to be available online, shopdizzy.com. Next, there's a new holiday pin set. This is available at uh, Disney Parks as well, so Disneyland in Walt Disney World, but it also appeared at Shop Disney. It features six different Disney Parks food pins, so a lot of fun designs there with a Christmas overlay. A lot of glitter embellishments on those pins. Their open edition and retail price is $29.99. They feature a mini pop, mini cookie, Mickey marshmallow snowman treat. I really like that pin. Uh, a Mickey cocoa with whipped cream, a Mickey gingerbread cookie, and Santa. And then finally at Disney Store, this one is exclusive to the New York City location in Times Square. They had another one of their uh, like marquee pin releases. This one for Frozen 2, and it has a low edition size on this pin, coming in at LE250. It features Anna and Elsa, the Disney Store Times Square logo below for Frozen 2. That was released on Halloween, October 31st. And again, that's limited edition of 250, and it comes with that uh, photo package, which is uh, $30, then you get the pin with it. All right, so before we get into the remaining holiday pin releases at Disney Parks, uh, basically for the uh, upcoming month, I did want to touch on the new releases this week at Disney Park. So uh, we have we have four releases. Three of them are shared. Uh, so I guess first we'll start off with the exclusive one at Walt Disney World. It is for the Christmas Parade, which I have never seen a pin for the Christmas Parade. I think they are starting the filming of it this week. Uh, basically, it's like a golden star with a hidden Mickey uh, shape in the center. And that is a limited release pin. Retail price is probably going to be around $15.99 or $16.99 for that. And then for the shared releases on both coasts, we have the next pin of the month for Vintage Vinyl Collection. This one featuring the Aristocats. That is limited edition of $3,000 with a retail price of $17.99. And then we have two releases for Star Wars. 
The Rise of Skywalker. The first one says True Jedi on it. That one is limited edition of 3000. It has like a lightsaber on it with a, looks like a snake around it. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what's going on there, but uh, a new one for the upcoming film. And then there is another one featuring Kylo Ren. This one, like, I feel like this might be part of a countdown series. I am not sure yet. Um, it doesn't say countdown or pin of the month on it. So maybe just a one-off. But both of those Star Wars Rise of Skywalker pins are available on both coasts. So Disneyland and Walt Disney World. And they are both limited edition of 3000 with a retail price of $17.99. All right, now let's talk holiday pins. First up, we have a very popular mystery pin collection that recently released at Disneyland. And it's also coming to Walt Disney World. Um, I haven't actually heard any reports of it being available at Walt Disney World yet. But this is the Hot Cocoa pin collection. Extremely popular pin set. And I can see why, because these designs are awesome. Uh, featuring different character themed mugs with like whipped cream and cookies on top uh there's like hot cocoa drinks but uh this is an open edition collection there are 12 different pins in this collection and uh it's called the happy holiday hot cocoa mystery pin collection the characters feature mickey minnie pluto donald dumbo marie goofy chip and dale cheshire cat ariel winnie the pooh and stitch so lots of different characters in that collection. Next up, we have the Advent Calendar for 2019. Actually, this was released early online at shopdisney.com, uh, but I think it sold out in about a day or so. Uh, but it is coming to Disneyland and Walt Disney World. So the parks on both coasts will receive this on November 21st. And this is basically like a countdown calendar until Christmas. It's limited edition of 1200 and has a retail price of $245. So the initial price of it does seem pretty high, but when you break it down, it's actually a really good deal. It's a little bit less than $11 per pin, and it's an LE 1200 pin. So just think about that. If you would buy a limited edition at the parks, that usually runs around $18, and you're getting it for less than 11. So yeah, I think that's a, a pretty good deal there. There are four themed sets that you can get in this collection. One is for Winnie the Pooh, with six pins, you have Lady and the Tramp, The Nightmare Before Christmas, and then a Mickey and Friends. And they are all themed, of course, to holiday Christmas time. Again, that released at Shop Disney Online on November 1st, and then it will be released in the parks on November 21st. Next up, we also got a preview of the Gingerbread Collection for 2019 at Disney Parks. And the first one already released, and that one is for... Disney's Contemporary Resort. That one, of course, is themed to Cinderella. You have the Fairy Godmother on there, and I love this collection this year. I think they're gorgeous. They're hinge pins. On the front, it has the uh, hotel logo of the Contemporary Resort, a really nice festive frame, and then you open the uh, window on it, and then on the inside, you actually see the Cinderella Castle gingerbread display with the Fairy Godmother there. Uh, that one is limited edition of 3600 retail price $17.99. And then we have eight more releases coming up. And they are staggered releases. So we have The Beat Club on November 12th, Boardwalk Resort on November 13th, Saratoga Springs Resort on November 13th, uh, Wilderness Lodge on November 13th. Then we have Disney's Grand Floridian Resort on the 16th. The Grand Californian Hotel and Spa on the 16th as well. Disneyland Hotel on the 16th. And then finally, Epcot gets its own gingerbread display. This one features Stitch. And that is the final release on November 21st. I really like the collection this year for the uh, gingerbread displays at Disney Parks. Next up, we have the Holiday Resorts Collection. Another popular release. I know lots of people that like to collect all of the resorts or, you know, ones that they're staying at during the holidays or just their favorite resort or favorite character. I know these are very popular and they tend to sell out uh, extremely fast. So these are releasing next week on November 11th, but there already was one release that uh, released early and that is for Alani Resort in Hawaii. Uh, that one actually already released, so... Um, I'm not sure why that one released early, but it did. The other ones, again, they should be released on November 11th. I remember last year, actually, they creeped out at uh, Disney Springs 
um, at uh, the Disney's Pin Trader store at Disney Springs. They release there early, like a few days early. So keep an eye out when you're at uh, the resorts or at uh, Downtown Disney or Disney Springs. They might appear early, who knows? Uh, but really, really nice collection this year. A wide variety of characters, like you have Coco at Coronado Springs, Moana at uh, Polynesian, the Aristocats at Port Orleans, a new one for the Riviera Resort. That one features Mickey and Minnie, really fancy pin there. Uh, you have Little Mermaid, Ariel for the Beach Club. So lots of uh, nice designs there. And they are on Festive Bells. And it's a spinner pin. So there's glitter on the uh, front of the pin. And then in the center is the spinner element on the bell. On one side it features the character. Then whenever you spin it over, the other side features the hotel logo. So a pretty awesome collection there. Next up we have Festival of Holidays at uh, California Adventure as well as It's a Small World Holiday. Both of these releases are coming out this week. So this Friday, November 8th, we have three releases at California Adventure Park. It's the uh, Festival logo pin featuring Mickey and Minnie. Then you have Miguel and Dante from Coco. That's the Feliz Navidad 2019 pin, LE3000. And then there's an, a pass holder exclusive featuring Mickey Mouse. That one's LE3000 as well. And then we have beautiful It's a Small World holiday pins. There's a jumbo release that's LE1000, a uh, logo pin, LE3000, and then a mystery pin collection that is limited release. That one features 10 different like uh, Christmas themed pins there. So pretty awesome collections. Uh, visit the blog if you guys want to see a closer look at the uh, actual pins instead of well, what they look like on the flyer because I am updating those blog posts to show uh, closer looks at the actual pins. Next up we have Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party at Magic Kingdom at Walt Disney World. The very first party is this Friday, November 8th, 2019. And all these pins can be purchased during event hours. You can find them, I believe, at uh, Frontierland Trading Post. They should put them out there as well as uh, Big Top Souvenirs in New Fantasyland. Those should be the locations where you can find the limited edition pins. Uh, we have our logo pin, an annual password exclusive featuring Goofy. There are four limited edition pins, one featuring the Gingerbread Man. You have another with Mickey Mouse, one with Minnie, and then the Snowman. There's also a mystery pin collection featuring Disney characters on sugar cookies. And then a five pin box collection that comes with the chaser pin, which is the toy soldier. And then finally is the six pin frame set. And the completer in that frame is the reindeer, that which is LE500. So lots of nice pin releases during the party there. And then finally we have the Epcot International Festival of the Holiday pin releases. This is uh, coming later in the month. Um, the flyer actually says they're being released on November 17th, which I'm not sure if that's a mistake or not because the actual festival starts on November 29th and runs through December 30th at Epcot. So uh, we'll have to keep an eye on that to see when these pins actually release. Uh, but there are four pins for Festival of the Holidays at Epcot. We have the logo pin featuring Chip and Dale, the Disney Vacation Club exclusive pin featuring Goofy and Donald. There's the Candlelight Processional pin, which uh, has Mickey and Minnie on it. That one's LE2500. And then the annual pass holder exclusive pin, again featuring Mickey and Minnie with the Festival of the Holidays logo on it, and it says Pass Holder below. So there's a preview of all of the holiday and Christmas pins for 2019. We are going to have a, a lot more coming out in December and around the world. Uh, we still haven't even covered like Hong Kong or Paris or uh, Shanghai or even Tokyo has a few uh, Christmas pins as well. So. Lots coming. Keep an eye out, DisneyPinsBug.com. And if you guys want to see a closer look at any of these pins mentioned, uh, just hit up the blog post, scroll down past the uh, the flyer, and you can see a closer look at the pins there. A lot of these pins are really, really nice. Uh, the artist did a great job on them. So that is all I have for episode number 180 of the DPV podcast. If you guys are attending Pin Trading Night this week, have a great time. And if you see me at Walt Disney World, be sure to say hi. Thanks for listening and watching, everyone. See ya.